Welcome to week two of Crafty Michelle's Spooktacular Halloween. Welcome to back to Wagman 510. Oh, what's that, Binky? Oh, and Binky says, don't forget about Binky, folks. Notice any changes? Welcome back, folks. It's a pleasure to be back here with you again, with Binky, too, as scary as Binky is. I'm here to bring you two really exciting projects. The first one you can make in under two hours. Most of you will be able to make it in about an hour. The other one's a longer project. It took me off and on about two to three weeks. Some of you may be able to get it done in a week. I needed more time to think it through. Let's see what you think. Let's go through the quick one first, the under two hours, because I think that's really inspiring. This was not my original idea. I first saw this done on Lyric Lover's channel here on YouTube, and she was making these notebook enclosures for craft fairs. And I thought, hey, that's a great idea, only I'm going to change it up a little. Let me show you what I did. This is using the Graphic 45 Alice in Wonderland Halloween Curiouser and Curiouser collection. And here's what I did. I measured out and cut apart one of the paper sheets from the collection. And on top I added, so these are three flowers that I made by punching out the flowers. Then I distressed them. Then I serrated the petals, then I gilded them, then I triple thick them and added the little gem dots in the middle. This is a piece of ephemera that my friend Crafting with Lillard, hey Lily, sent me from I believe the Spooky Boo collection. So I took that, propped it up on chipboard and made it super thick. And Alice's hair, if you grow up close, you'd notice it's slightly gilded. And I also did something very similar to stickling to give her hair kind of a glowing effect. Here I gold leafed her hat so that it kind of has that little iridescent quality. I gold leafed all of the wild foliage. Down here is a felt pumpkin. This is a little rosette sent to me from my friend Jellybean Junction. Hey Jellybean! And I put Scary over top. It's a sticker that's from also a different collection, but I propped it up on chipboard, cut it apart, put it over here. It's another one of those flowers that I made. And then I blinged it up down each side. And that's the cover, folks. The interior looks like this. So this is a pad I bought. It's a this week pad. It goes Monday to Friday and then weekends and it's broken out by the hour. So instead of using the note, uh, notebook sheets that Lyric Lover suggested, I think she gets hers at the dollar store, I decided to do a planner pad for this particular recipient because she's a very busy lady and I knew she would really want to have a sort of funky planner for a Halloween. So I made this for her. On the other side what I did was very quickly as I cut apart from the paper collection it says I love the saying at last we thought you'd never arrive and then I created a distorted funhouse mirror and I did that using believe it or not you know those oven pans they come with lids well the, you can get some that are highly mirror like as you can see see that isn't that amazing only it slightly distorts your reflection so I thought that was great for Alice in Wonderland here I created a pocket using a piece of the collection that I cut apart from the paper pad and then I added some of the um, playing cards from the paper pad as well to create some depth but that's a pocket where she can tuck in a bunch of little things like receipts or notes. This is a paper flower I just built out of paper very quickly. Add a little gem in the middle. This is a, a fabric flower that I put a little gemmy in the middle and this is a little bow. And the back I just gold, I gilded with my gilding spray that I make myself using metallic paint from Deco Arts and rubbing alcohol. And that's it folks. That is the under two hour version. Super cute. This is a great gift to give friends. A wonderful gift to give friends for Halloween or if you're doing a Halloween swap this is a great addition to your swap. So that's the two hour version. Now let me take you through the three week version because I have to do a lot of thinking. So this was not taken from any tutorial, but I will say that I watched a lot of tutorials, specifically uh, Scrap the World, Tamika's interactive flipbook tutorial, and May May's. And I also watched another one, uh, Alicia Lovelier Generation. She made an interactive flipbook, so I watched hers as well, because I wanted to innovate my own for this particular project, and I wanted to see how theirs operated in order to construct my own. So this is an interactive album. It's a mini album. And I'll just take you through it real quick. 
You can see that there are some jemmies. I gold leafed all of the details on here. I did a gilding on a paper flower, added it down here, gilded up a plastic spider, added it here, added a few jemmies. I actually, that's not actually uh, done with a paint pen, that's actually fabric that I built out her hat this time and added a little bow to give it dimension. This is frightening and it's propped up on some chipboard. Clearly I have put a coordinating green lace all the way around. It's an accordion bound book. This is paper from the collection. Let's go to page one. So the reason I love interactive flip books is that the person has to engage with them. And I really think that Alice in Wonderland lends itself to that. Like it was my favorite book since childhood. And I always remembered like thinking about falling down the rabbit hole and that whole idea of exploration. So I wanted this book to be like that. I wanted it to be an exploration. So down here I have Marabou that's been dyed in purple. This is a purple distressed paper that I then took, distressed some more, and then gilded with that same spray that I used on the last book in the back, the one made with metallic paint and rubbing alcohol. I built a barnyard door. It says beware with a little orange jemmy, and it's thicked up to make sure that it's durable. You, It's also got a little bit of trim of lace uh, with gilding on it. You open that up, and it says come in for a spell. And there is our queen. Here you just have some die cuts that are silhouettes of ravens. Those were sent to me by Orlanda Tesson. Thank you, Orlanda. And I just wanted a little bit of that darkness to be reflected. And here it's just the marabou. And I added a little jemmy to the red queen's necklace. And I added some more of that trim up here. And underneath it is a purple and black spider web. And that is it. Just a little fun behind the barn door. On this side, you have a swinging barn door with a cut apart from the paper collection, a folded back, and when you open it, Alice is there and there's room for a little picture. There's room for a picture here. Down here, you have cut apart from the paper collection. This is a bottle cap I built. I punched out from the paper collection, put it behind a cabochon, put it in a gold uh, paper cap, um, and this is actually a pocket so that the recipient can tuck things into it. Even though you can't see that it's a pocket, it's a pocket. And I also gilded up the little light fixture. The next page is probably my favorite. Oh yes, check it out. What I love the most about this page is that this is not evidently a flip when you first see it. You think it's part of this whole page, but it's not. It's actually a fringed flip and it flips up to here and that I left room for the recipient to attach photographs of either she or her kids. What I basically did was I created a barn door, cut apart Alice, thicked her up on chipboard, layered her up over tulle curtains that I'm hanging from purple metal. So I made a curtain rod out of metal, hung it across the paper pad, strung the curtains from the metal, attached these flowers, chose not to distress these, and just have Alice peeking through. And in the back behind Alice is she's taking a look behind and the caterpillar's waiting for her behind there. And then underneath, as you saw, is the tea party. Down below, I've had some ribbon attached. This side is a shaker. With all the colors of the collection, the shaker mix has all the colors of the collection and a few little weird spiders in there. It is done in this really delicate trim all the way around. And then behind the shaker, it says trick or treat that extends behind Alice. And that's built up on shipboard, so it's very dimensional. You can see she's resting her hand on a little ghosty. And there's some gilded flowers here, a little glittery bat here. And I wanted Alice to blend in more. Every other page, she's the star attraction on every page. But this time I wanted her to blend in. So you can see that this time I vintage photoed her instead of making her um, super distressed or instead of building her up on black uh, chipboard, I instead used vintage photos so that she blended in more with the fabric. And this is a shaker. It's a fun shaker. And then the last spread is really fun. So the first thing I did was I built another barnyard door. This one says Curiouser. It's the rabbit and the hand is reaching for it. It's also done up in lace and then you open it. Oh, I love this one. And this is a rosette I built using a giant googly eye that moves as you can see. And this is, I created some chipboard by using a sticker and building it up on chipboard and it just says trick or treat. There's some sequins, there's some distressing, some gold spray. This side, this is a wooden frame that I first painted in a metallic purple, then I sparkled it up. To get that mirror effect, I did the same thing again, folks, see? I used that oven topper, added a jemmy, and these florals I did distress. And I layered that up on more distressed paper, and then the back just has, you know, 
Made with Love for So-and-So by Alicia. And that is the three-week version. So you get to decide which one you like better. I'd be curious to know. Let me know down below. Three-week version, two hours, two options. Now I have one more quick bonus share for you this week. I call this the bonus share. I did create a coordinating Memdex card. And this is a shaker. Shake, shake, shake. Um, and it's real cute. It's got all the colors of the collection, a gilded up rose. It says inspire. And I wanted a little shadowing, so I put a, a beh uh, behind, I put some black chipboard. She is cut apart, layered up on both black, black uh, cardstock and chipboard to give her extra dimension. And up here, she's a little green pom-pom. And this is my enclosure card in the back. And this is traditional style. This is just a cut apart from the paper pad. This is actually paper I hauled from Ali that is Alice in Wonderland themed. Not the best prints, but really good quality. And I attached, I created a sticker and uh, uh, turned a sticker into a piece of chipboard by placing it on chipboard and then again on black cardstock. And it just says, who stole the tarts? Um, and that's it for the Memdex. And that's the coordinating Memdex to both the planner and the interactive album. Now the last bonus are these cute little rosettes that I made. And these actually match the collection also. So I love things that match. And these were done with black cray paper. And then I'm gonna see if you can see this in my camera light or not. Yeah, you can a little. See how they, they glow green? Do you see that? Let me see if you can see it better on the other ones. Can you see it better on these ones maybe? See, they glow green in real life because I, go, I green glittered them these rosettes so that they glow. There you go, now you can see. See how they glow green? Okay, so I created these rosettes using crepe paper. I made bottle cap centers using the collection. There's Alice standing as her little witch self. And I gold sprayed the top. And those are the coordinating rosettes. So that's my project for this week, folks. Thanks so much for coming and, and checking it out. Let me know which one you like better, the three week investment or the two hour quick and the quick and out the door project. They were both joyful to make. Both I'm excited to have to send out to wonderful friends here on YouTube. And I loved making them for this collaboration. I really did. Thanks so much for spending some time with me for looking at my project. And I cannot wait to see what everyone else has done for this week. And I'll see y'all next week. Thanks so much again for watching and bye for now.